there is a quadratic graph. Whenever we find a quadratic graph, that means it's a parabola, either like this or open downward. But because it's one x squared, which is positive, so we are talking about open upward, this case. They tell us the x set of symmetry is x equal to the negative 2. Uh, x coordinate, negative 2 may be somewhere here. This line, x equal to negative 2, that means all the points with x coordinate equal to negative 2. So maybe this point, this point, this point, become a straight line. So we have the s set of symmetry like this. This is x equal to negative 2. At this moment, I have no idea is the graph like this or the graph like this. But afterward, they say that there is one of the x intercept. So at least it's cut the x asset x-intercept means the line cut x-asset at certain position. So the graph most probably like this, and then the x-intercept, that means when it's cut the x-asset, this point or this point is 1. Uh, this is smaller than negative 2, so it should be referred to this point. And then anything we can do is you have to think about y equal to x squared plus ax plus b. From this coefficient, 1, a, and b here, we can find out the sum of roots. Uh, usually, we we'll let this uh, roots be alpha and beta when it's equal to 0. And then this means alpha plus beta divided by 2 because it's the middle position. So if we know alpha plus beta, we know how to express negative 2 here. We learned that sum of roots should be negative uh, coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x squared. Usually we say negative b over a, but this time the position of a and b are not exactly the same as the formula. So we just use the original expression, coefficient of x over coefficient of x squared. In this case, coefficient of x is how many x that mean a. Coefficient of x squared that mean positive 1. So negative a over b is negative a. And based on negative 2, we find that alpha plus beta over 2 should equal to negative 2. And then alpha plus beta already found is negative a. So by solving this equation, we know that a is equal to 4, which is enough for us to sort out the answer is a. But how can we know that is b correct also? Uh, we still didn't use the x-intercept yet, so we try to use this point. This point on the line, which means that uh, the combination of x, y fulfill this requirement. So this line is 1, 0. That means when x equal to 1, then y will equal to 0. So we put it inside, we have 0 equal to x is 1 square plus a times 1 plus b. So a plus b is equal to negative 1. Since we also know that a is equal to 4, so we can get b is equal to negative 5. It supports our answer here. Even though you forget about how to deal with the SF symmetry, but if you know this, at least it gives you some relation between a and b. This one add together gives you negative 1, so it's OK. But these two add together give negative 7. So you know that B and C can't be the answer. At least it's narrow your range to get the answer. Finally, it's talking about if you draw like this, you will discover that the constant, that means B here, is below the ground. So it should be some negative value. So B can be just negative 5, but not positive 4. So therefore, you can sort out the answer of A also.